Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask Bible questions. If you send me your Bible question, I will do my best to give you a Bible answer. I'll give you my email address at the end of today's broadcast, as always. Now, a question today from a listener who writes, Could you please explain predestination, God's foreknowledge, and man's free will? And uh, the answer to that question is, could I do that? No. No. I cannot. No one else can either. But let me explain the best that I can. God foreknows everything, but he gives everyone a free will. So his foreknowledge is not always the same as predestination. He foreknows everything, but he doesn't predestinate everything. At least the Bible doesn't teach that until you get into the area of his sovereignty and also the providence of God, which is his ability to work everything that happens in all of creation for all time to bring about his perfect eternal plan. So if it sounds like I'm contradicting myself, I am. But that's the best that I can do. The Bible says in many places that we should choose to do what God wants us to do. We should choose to do his will. Adam and Eve were given a choice. It was a real choice. They chose sin. The Bible clearly teaches that we who are saved have been predestined by God to become his children. And yet scripture says, whosoever will may come. You say, Moret, you're contradicting yourself. I know. I'm being very biblical. It is impossible to recon reconcile certain things that Scripture says that seem to conflict. For example, who lives the Christian life in us? Well, that's an easy question to answer. We do. Of course, you are right. Paul wrote, I beat my body into subjection, lest I become a castaway. But wait a minute. Paul also said that when it comes to living for Jesus, it's not I, but Christ who lives in me. And also it is God who works in us both to will and to do his good pleasure. There you go again, Mike, contradicting yourself. Yep, and I'm being very biblical. See, theologians have debated these issues for 2,000 years, since the beginning of the church age. And the fact is, all of these things are true. Predestination, God's sovereignty, man's free will, they are true, even though we cannot reconcile them in our minds. Now, those who say that they have reconciled these things and they have the explanation inevitably get into heresy. It's, and it's the same with the doctrine of the Trinity, of course. God is one, and yet clearly God is three. The Bible teaches both. How can that be? We don't know. Those who try to reconcile it and say they have the answer get into heresy. The oneness Pentecostals do this very thing and they get into the heresy of modalism that's been around for 2,000 years. You just can't reconcile certain things in Scripture. So what do we do? Well, I'll tell you what I do. I teach that God is one and that God is three. I teach that God is sovereign and that man has a free will. I teach both because I go through the Bible verse by verse and I touch on every verse and I teach it as it is. I teach the Bible, all of it, just as God gave it. And maybe someday he will explain how it all fits together. But until then, we live by faith in the truth of God's word and trust that the secret things belong to God and are content with that. If you have a Bible question for me, please send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.